Alright, so there are going to be some changes in this. And one of them is my camera. Mainly in YouTube, I've always used my phone, just a basic phone, right? And honestly, you can do a lot with this phone. Not specifically this phone, but just the fact it's a phone. In case you're wanting to do YouTube, this is your <laughs> best friend. But I finally got my DSLR working. I was going through SD cards, and I finally got an SD card that works. So now, you are seeing me in HD video. That is probably not the best thing, but you guys get to see me in HD. Well, that's not why I'm making this video. Why I'm making this video is because I'm 16, and at 16, you get some responsibilities, right? And so, a few weeks ago, I got my driver's license. I don't think I've shown the internet, but I, I, I got a car. And as a 16 year old, that is a big thing, and especially for my YouTube channel. So, I wanted to show you guys what my car is, and you know, if it's gonna last for the next two to three years. It, you know, it's, it's probably just best if I just show you. This car has been very fun. I've only had it for a few days. It is an amazing, amazing first car. You gotta get ready for this. Here it is. So, let's find a good place, but, okay. And we're good. So, this is my first car, and that means I love this car. <laughs> I really love this car. And I mean, it drives so smooth. Ooh. Oh my God. If I have to readjust this camera, I'm gonna go crazy. So this car, I've had this car for two days. So this car means a lot to me. And I would probably not trade this car for anything because this car, <laughs> this car is like my pride and joy right now. Because for a 16 year old boy, you, if you take away their car, you're, you're taking away their freedom. I mean, practically. I mean, right now, I just left the house at any time I wanted to. I told my parents, I was like, hey, I'm shooting a video, and I left. Without a car, you can't, you can't. So now that we didn't die in my car, I want to talk about YouTube. So a lot of people want to start on YouTube. It's like a big thing. It's a big trend. I like YouTube because I like personalizing my stuff. I like making it my own because in the future, I would love to have my own co company. But some people want to do YouTube just, you know, just for the sake of being famous and stuff. So I'm gonna show you what I use for YouTube and what I would recommend. So not all of these things you're gonna want, it's all on preference, but there will be some things that on here that you'll be like, oh yeah, no. But like I said, this is just what I use. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna want for YouTube, and it's pretty obvious, and I'm gonna start off with the thing that I said in the beginning of this video, and probably you've heard from a million other videos because you, <laughs> This is probably not your first one, but it's your phone. Your phone is equipped with the best mic and it's actually almost able to like catch 4K video. That is amazing. Your phone is the easiest thing. And let me tell you, I've started my channels and I'm gonna say channels because this has not been my first channel because your phone is gonna be the easiest and simplest tool in when you're making YouTube videos. So I highly recommend this. Another camera that I used with, for YouTube for a good bit, if you are more towards like your PC, 
I would heavily recommend the Logitech C280, C290, I forgot what it was called. But this camera is a little pricey, so if you are just looking for something easy, I'd lean more towards the phone. And the camera that I'm using right now is a Canon EOS T3i Rebel. It is a really good camera. As you can see, I really like this camera. I just started using it. If you like this camera, I mean, <laughs> and if you have a lot of money to spend, I would recommend this camera. The next thing I'm going to want to get into is mics. So, I mean, if you're using your phone, you already have a mic, but if you're using your computer, you're probably going to want a better mic. The mic that I started out with in the very beginning was this Blue Snowball, and Blue is actually a really good company. I specifically used the Snowball because it was cheaper. This is around 60 bucks, but you'll understand what I mean by cheaper in comparison to some of those. I mean, I bet there's cheaper mics by Blue. It comes with a stand. This microphone is the best microphone that I own right now, so automatically I'm gonna highly recommend this. This is the Audio Technica AT2020. I love this mic so much. I've used it in a lot of my videos. Also with it, especially with an XLR microphone, that's what the AT2020 is. If you don't know the difference from an XLR microphone and a USB plug-in, the Blue Snowball is going to be a USB plug-in. That's why I recommend it for beginners. XLR microphones kind of come up more pricey because you not only are getting the microphone, you're getting a bunch of junk with it. You're gonna want a shock mount that pretty much just helps hold it. You're gonna want an arm to hold it. I personally like the arm. You can also just get a stand. You're gonna want a pop filter. You get your P's and T's nice and crisp. You can also get another pop filter. Pop filter that looks like this and you put it in front of the mic and you just like speak into it like this. These are really good. These are really cheap for a pop filter. You can get this for like six bucks. So all around, I can roughly say that's gonna be around like 30 bucks, probably a little less or more. All right, so holding your camera. This is always a pain. You can always just hold your camera. I personally, there are some really expensive white tripods and stuff out there, but if you want like a smaller tripod, I love this Manfrotto tripod. This small tripod is actually really handy. You kind of just use this and you kind of hold on and you can use it like that for like holding it out like that. Um, but if you are using your phone, there's also an attachment that you can also buy with this. And this is like, okay, let's drop it. And you are able to attach it pretty much like that. And you're able to use your phone and you're able to do it like that. So for programs, if you're a beginner, iMovie and Windows Movie Maker. Those are like the two best. It's free, it's easy. Go out and go get that. It's so simple. I use Windows Movie Maker for the majority of the beginning of my channel. If you're wanting to get a little deeper into it, then it's probably gonna be more towards like uh, Adobe stuff. I would recommend DaVinci Resolve. I'll put a link in the description in case you actually wanna go out and download that. I mean, that's all the equipment I use. You guys can always just use whatever equipment you want. I mean, it's not like you have to use the equipment I use. This is just what I'm comfortable with. And just other than that, I would just recommend just like be yourself. Don't be fake in front of the camera. Just have fun with it. YouTube's supposed to be fun. And just enjoy the video. I mean, that's all I can really say. None of this is sponsored, FYI. None of this at all. <laughs> if you guys do want to check out this equipment, I will put most of it in the description below and you guys can go check it out on Amazon. Most of this is available on Amazon, so I would recommend that. So thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you guys next week and I'll see you guys in the next video.